Well, very excited to be here. Um, I probably am one of the few people that when you take a new job, you don't have to move, right? When I was at Temple last year, so took the job, and one day I went down Broad Street, and I went right, and the next day I went down to Broad Street, and I went left, right? And so, anyway, it's just a thrill to be able to be a part of the Eagles organization and to, to stay home, basically, and not have to move and, and to be a part of this tremendous uh, team and tremendous organization and um, I'm very excited to be here um, I'm uh, you know very excited to be the linebackers coach and work with these linebackers we got a great group of guys that have been hungry and eager and been very attentive to what we've been coaching and uh, have done a tremendous job through OTAs um, it's a uh, it's been a great experience so far and we still got a ways to go but um, you know things are heading in the right direction um, we got guys that are um, you know are building from what we did this this off season, and that guys that are very serious about being the best version of themselves every single day, and it's something that um, it, it's, it's a good thing to be a part of, especially a guy that was in Philly last year and got to see it all firsthand. You know, um, like many guys in this organization, you know the the road went through Temple, right? So you know, Sean coached at Temple, and Ron L coached at Temple, and many other people on our staff. You know, Tavor was at Temple, and so with that, you know. Living in Philly, you know, you saw it from the other side. As part of being a part of the team, you saw it from the fan side. You know, you saw it from the community side. You saw it from your neighbor's side. And so now to be a part of that organization has just been tremendous for me and my family, and, um, and we're very excited about it. What questions? How exhaustive this interview process was for, for finding, uh, you know, filling out the staff. What was that like from your end? So, um, you know, I, I didn't want to leave Philly, you know, for personal reasons. And so this city means a lot to me for, for personal reasons. And, um, and so, you know, when, when the job opened up, I, I reached out through some people that I was interested in it and um, was contacted and was asked to interview. And, um, you know, I was, I was in Colorado at the time on vacation because we were on spring break at Temple. And I got a text from Sean Desai that said, hey, can you interview? And I said, yes. And he said, how about tomorrow? You know, while well, I was in Colorado. So, anyway, I flew back, um, landed at four, and I interviewed at five. Okay, and uh, and it and it went for went for about three hours in the interview, and um, drove home. Didn't think anything of it. You know, was very excited about it. And then the next day, I got a phone call from Nick and said, "Hey, come meet me for lunch." And I went and met him for lunch, um, and then uh, came down here to the Nova uh, Complex, met everybody, met Howie, met. Uh, the entire organization, and by the end of the day, I was working for the Eagles. And so it was really a great opportunity for me. Um, I think that um, the fact that, uh, that uh, you know, I had the opportunity to interview and present um, exactly my vision for the linebackers and, and exactly what, um, what I could bring to the staff, I thought uh, was, was just a great opportunity, and, and it worked out, and I'm very excited about it. What is that vision for the linebackers? Uh, you know, generally an experienced group, and I imagine – Coming from college, like develop, developing guys is a big part of the job. That's, that's exactly right. You know, player development is critical. You know, I mean, that's the role of a coach is, is to take a player somewhere that he can't go on his own, right? That's what, that's what the role of a coach is. And so you have to make sure that with every skill that that player has, that you're developing a drill that fits that skill, and then you're finding the time to work those drills. And so, you know, when you when you become a football coach, obviously you love football, right? And so it's it's the it's the main part of what you do all day long, right? And so you study the game, and what you're looking for is you're looking for every little type of technique or skill development that may make that player better, right? And then how are you coaching it, and how are you drilling it, and when are you drilling it, right? And that and that's the plan, all right? And that's what player development is. And so to answer your question is all the things that make a great linebacker, okay, are the things that, that we're emphasizing this offseason, with the number one thing being tackling, right? To be a great linebacker, you have to be a great tackler. And so we're really working hard at making sure that we're working drills that put those guys in position to make plays and to make plays to be great tacklers. What were your first impressions of um, N'Kobe Dean having fresh, putting fresh eyes on him? And then what were, what was your, would you relate then to the rest of the staff um, having seen them for the first time versus all of them, who had, you know, most of them went for, for two years now. So 
uh, Nicobe, you know, right when I got hired, I called all the linebackers, right? I called them all, and I talked to Nicobe for about five minutes, and I was really trying to get to know him. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Coach, hey, can you get me the playbook? You know what I mean? So, I mean, he is very, very um, – he's very serious about it. You know what I mean? And uh, he's a student of the game. And that was my first impression of him was – he, he was eager to learn, he wanted to learn, and he wanted to get started right away, you know. And um, I've been impressed with him through OTAs in that way, too. And the fact that how much of a student of the game he is and how much he studies it and how, how uh, much time he puts into to being not only the best physical player but the best mental player that he can be. You've been in the college game for like 24 years, 25 years. What's the biggest difference have you, have you found since uh, joining the program? So, you know, football's football. You know, um, the other day we had a high school coach out here, and I was talking football with him, and, man, what a good coach. You know, I mean, he had some really good coaching points and, and uh, you know, was, was talking about exactly how he coaches something and when he coaches it and how he does it, you know. And so there's so many things that, that apply at every level, right? And it ultimately, once you get between the white lines, football is football, right? But then there's other things that make the NFL different from college and, and from high school. And so um, the first thing that was new to me was the, was the draft, right? I'm used to begging guys to come, to, you know what I mean? I'm not used to picking them, right? I'm used to, you know, going in their living room and, and telling them why they should come, not selecting them. So that was a new experience for me. But um, uh, it was a really good one, you know. I learned a lot, and, uh, and, and I really like it. So. What was your lunch like with Nick? Could you get a sense for what, you know, how he was trying to fill you out and what he was looking for? So I think it was, um, yeah, it was, is we wanted to, you know, he wanted to get to know me, you know what I mean? Wanted to see, um, I think, uh, what type of person I was, what type of personality I had, and see if I was uh, probably a good fit for the staff. That was what I assumed, you know what I mean? So um, that's what I think it was about. Sean, uh, Mesh, philosophically. Great. Yeah, re re really good. Yeah, really good. Um, I believe in everything we're doing. Sean's an excellent coach. He's an excellent teacher. Um, he's an e extremely hard worker. He's going he's gonna to do everything he can to help put our players in the best position to win. You mentioned, uh, you kind of mentioned football is football between the lines, but the game has evolved uh, during your career. Uh, how much has it changed for the linebacker position as you've gone throughout your, your career and your stops? So um, the game has evolved into a much lighter linebacker or more of a space player um, than what the game originally was, right? It's a guy that um, um, has to be able to cover a running back, has to be cover a tight end, has to um, be able to make plays in coverage, has to um, sometimes, you know, be a better blitzer than they've been in the past because, you know, the, the game has transitioned to a, a, a more of a pass game too. So you've got to have better cover guys. Sean mentioned in conversations with us about wanting to get back. I shouldn't say get back, but just have a physical brand where the other team knows you're there. Has he conveyed that to you, and how do you convey that to your linebackers? A hundred percent, right. You know, you know the, the more physical team, right, it, it, nine times out of ten is going to win, right? And so uh, the element of our identity and, our, and, and what we're working towards, especially at linebacker play, has to start with physicality. And so we have a strong emphasis on that in our meetings, a strong emphasis on that in practice, and, and that, that comes from the top, not only from Sean, but from, from Coach uh, Sirianni, too, is, is the strong physical play. So Philadelphia is special to you. Why is that? Uh, personal reasons. Yeah, personal reasons. Uh, you were with Davion in Colorado, is that correct? Uh, I was. Um, does that help to have sort of that history with somebody? Um, or does it help the player? Does it help you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know, uh, you know, what type of person he is. I, I know what type of player he is. I know his, um, you know, some of his strengths and some of his weaknesses. So it's definitely helped. How was last year as just a normal Philadelphian watching the Super Bowl run? Yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, uh, you know, me and my family, we were rooting for it. You know, we were all part of the, of the community. You know, my son, he, my son would come down and take the train down and not go to the game, but, you know, just, you know, walk around in the, in the parking lot and all that, and then, and then he would take the train back, and, and, and he did that for, you know, three or four games just to be a part of it, 
you know, and, and I, some of his stories were probably the best stories, you know, and, uh, you know, he said that they would get into the train and, and, and there was no room for no more people, but somehow they would find a way to get one more person into the train and, and head over here to the, to the link. So, you know, it was, it was quite an experience. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You, you got a uh, Kenny game rolling.